Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and uh, Gemini Rising. Weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we are going to jump straight away uh, into the spread. All right, so the first card which represents the topic for Gemini's week, this is going to be the judgment, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges with Gemini, which Gemini needs to face throughout the week, this is going to be the um, Nine of Cups, followed by the positive aspect of the week, that will be the Four of Wands, and then the last one which stands for the guidance that Saro has for Gemini, we do have the Devil. Right, so <clears throat> let's run down the cards once again before we scrutinize the reading. Uh, the first one is going to be the judgment, which stands for the topic, followed by the second card, which is the, pos the uh, challenges that Gemini needs to face. This is going to be the uh, Nine of Cups. Afterwards, it is the four, of, the four of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Devil, which is the Guidance. All right, Gemini, uh, so this is going to be a pretty decisive week for what it seems from these cards, simply because a certain answer is going to come to you. I would say that um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to manifest itself into a situation which you are finding difficult to solve, okay? And uh, throughout the week, you are to find the answer of, of your problems, right? What you got to do, what you have to say, how you should act, and etc., etc. The problem is, it's not going to be exactly as you have expected it to be. So, I would say that uh, probably you would hope that it's not going to come to it. But unfortunately, it did. And... Um, there is no two ways how you can see upon the situation, but, uh, but from the right angle or from the objective angle. So this is about the topic itself, and that is the judgment, which represents exactly that. The wake-up call, the insight, you know, the, the, the answer given, if you want to say it that way, way. Well, in some cases, the judgment also could represent, you know, reconciliation. As the judgment is the card pointing that the shaft falls into the hub, pieces of the puzzles falls together and now you, you, you know about the grand scheme of things and you're pretty aware, you know, where all this is, where all this is going and that could be the, uh, the final insight you need to push the, the situation to, um, how can I describe it, into a direction that there is no going back from it. I'm sorry for the example here, but let's say that you are into an abusive marriage and up until that moment, you keep keep up repeating to yourself that your wife will stop doing this, you know, your wife could uh, could kind of like see the things and, and, and 
fix herself or repair, not repair, but let's say, you know, stop doing these things or your husband, it doesn't really matter. And suddenly you realize that this is what they are. It's just who they, who they are. And uh, there is no other way but f filing for a divorce. Yeah, I hope that you get my point. You hope that it's not gonna come to that but unfortunately this is the only way so that is the insight you're gonna get throughout this uh throughout this week the accompanied card here is going to be the uh the empress the formation it is a uh, active neutrals and that is just only a confirmation that the whole thing is gonna be very very uncomfortable for you i mean it's just it's the there is no there is no gentle way how you can tackle with the situation you cannot do it with a with a um surgical procedure all right you can do it only with a, a brute force if i may express it that way shoot straight to the chest if i may say it that way it's just there is no other way around it unfortunately uh, with these cards. Now, if we're talking about reconciliation here as the judgment points to that, it may not be a romantic one. You know, it could be a business reconciliation as well. <clears throat> I'm afraid that the whole thing is going to be, um, is going to revolve around fulfilling certain criteria. Okay, so it's not going to come uh, without any demands. So let's say that is your ex husband okay that's you wanna you wanna make up the marriage again well with these cards it seems that you will have to make a, a very very big compromise and for many for many of you is is going to be as well involving that you will have to admit certain guilt with all these cards that come here um, as a follow-up and uh, that leads us to the next one which is the um negative aspect or the challenge and that is the nine of cups and in this specific follow-up and position the nine of cups points that you know what you want something to happen something to be finalized in general something not to not be how can i describe it not to be a mess any longer sometimes you gotta get you gotta get your hands dirty okay or uh, you gotta do things which you are not which you would rather not do you you gotta basically accept that uh, things are going beyond a, a a moral threshold into a certain extent it's no no different than for example the woman who gets abused by her husband right and the moral standard is that the marriage should not be broken especially if you are following a religion right uh, I, I know, in fact, few religions that does not approve uh, divorce. But if this is the only way that you can break that painful chain of being, um, let's say, mentally terrorized, then this is what you got to do. It's not going to be pleasant for neither of the sides, especially if you do have children, right? But do you really have to suffer? It's, it's the question so you can keep up the moral standards in there so yeah the whole point here with the nine of cups is that you need to recognize that this act of yours to um to find your salvation if i may express it that way it's not gonna be pleasant at all it's, i mean at all the accompanied card that will be uh, the um the hermit the formation it is a, a passive uh, friends and the hermit the hermit additionally puts on a doubt into this position that uh, what you do it's not the only option or rather like you may have that doubt that if you wait a little bit longer you know things can get better i mean your husband may stop terrorizing you or your boss may stop bruising upon you you know or your co-workers may stop being mean and etc etc so it's kind of like stalling the situation which everybody does but there is but there has to be a um, a point of break if I may express myself that way, you know, you, you cannot keep on doing this forever. So you got to recognize this breaking point and that will be the challenge throughout this week. Um, it seems that 
Uh, I'm not saying that you will have to act this week. This week is going to be the, 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 the insight, all right, or the necessary means that you need in order to do what is necessary for you to break this, this uh, magic circle that you're revolving yourself around. And um, simply afterwards, uh, what is going to be required from you, it's, uh, it's courage, nothing more than that, and determination, you know, to just push through this, I would say, era of your life, uh, era of uh, turmoil, the, the, the final push through it, so you, you can be simply done with it and just face more brighter future moving on forward. So the positive aspect for a change throughout the week for you guys, this is going to be the four of ones. And it seems that that week marks the start of an, an ending of a cycle of growth. And the, when I say cycle of growth, cycle of growth doesn't necessarily mean a, a pleasant cycle. We grow through mistakes, okay? Especially with this follow-up. When we do mistakes, we learn from them, we grow. And then the next cycle starts in which cycles we don't get to repeat the same mistake twice. So simply this, uh, this week as well, uh, the most positive thing that could happen to us or to you, Geminis, is to recognize that if you don't recognize the mistake that you did and you don't learn from it, you know, it's nothing good is gonna come out of it. So, simply it's it, it's about a, a recognition and it's about also scoping this window of opportunity for yourself to break you know to to finalize this magic circle and no longer to be a part of it at all you know as a, a part of like i said abusive marriage mean friendship you know exploitation at work as well, uh, getting advantage of your kindness. It doesn't have to be, you know, an abusive marriage, all right? Or being single, if you want to say it that way. I mean, the, the whole thing here may point that you're going to get an insight why you are constantly single. I mean, why, why you are getting into dates, but never the things are working out. And if that's the case with these cards, well, you are going to find that you're doing something wrong. I mean, that not that you are a bad person, but maybe you are way too, uh, you're lacking initiative, you know, or maybe you're not preparing well for dates as well, or maybe you're way too open. It's going to be different for every single one of you. The point here of this reading for July 15th to July 21st is that you Geminis are going to understand what you're doing wrong and how you are to fix it. The accompanied card is going to be the, uh, the emperor. So uh, the formation here, it is a active supporters and it's just this combo here screams never again. So we're definitely talking about a thing that you're doing it all wrong, all right? Not because, like I said, you are a bad person, but because everybody makes mistakes and through mistakes, it is how we grow. So never again is what this, the, uh, the combo here points. You are going to organize your life better after you learn from your mistake, not allowing this mistake to be repeated moving forward into the future. Now that I think of, that could also involve, you know, that you made mistake with your choice. Let's say that you associated yourself with the wrong person, you get involved in them into a romantic relationship, you realize that they are either way too soft, all right, or way too dominant, it's just, it's not your match. So you change your criterias because the mistake was into your criterias, and never again you're going to chance to such kind of people. It could be just as simple as that. And the last card here, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you guys. And we do have the Devil card. So what the Devil card here points us really, it is that you do have the power to alter your outcomes, to alter your fate and to force the meaningful circumstances which will help you break through this magic circle that I was talking about. You know, for example, if we're following this narrative of the abusive marriage, only you can file for a divorce. Only you have the power to do so, okay? Your mother cannot file for you. Your friends cannot file for you. Your children cannot file for you. Only you have the power to do it. Same thing goes into your, into your career. I mean, only you have the power, you know, 
to step for yourself into your career, to demand more or to seek more elsewhere. It is just you got to pick yourself together and do something about that misfortune situation that you are finding yourself at right now. The accompanied card is going to be the uh, two of cups here with the devil. And we're talking only about followers, you know, when people see how determined you are and how much you are picking up yourself together and getting the things in your own in, in your own hands. I'm sorry. And you're doing whatever you can to uh, improve your circumstances. You're going to get a support from a lot of people. As a matter of fact, as a guidance card, these cards are pointing that you can get support from a lot of people, right? And it is advisable for you to seek that support out because two, two hands or two heads are thinking better than one and two hands can lift more than one. Or two set of hands can lift more than, more than what one set of hands can lift. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot reading, July 15th to July 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.